Hey there folks, Mike here. You know, over the past few months, there have been some great conversations in the Articulate Storyline forums regarding video and video compression. There are some folks who have clients who don't want the video to be compressed at all. Now, if you're new to Storyline, basically Storyline takes huge video sizes and compresses them down into much more manageable sizes for the end user experience. And it does so with great quality. However, there are some clients who will still say, well, you know, I notice a little artifacting here or there in the video. I don't want that. It has to be the absolutely best quality. The source file that I have put in, I want that quality on the way out. So, if you are in this situation, and maybe they're distributing it on DVD, so it's not going to be a problem for the end user to play, here's a quick trick to make that happen. Step number one, you want to start. Make sure that your source file, that high quality file, is MPEG-4 video format. So what's going to happen, a storyline is going to take, if you put an AVI in, you put a, an MOV or WMV in, it's going to convert it to MPEG-4. So the trick here is to start with an MPEG-4 video. Get with your client, get it to the quality and the size that you like, that you're happy with, that you know the learner is going to be able to, to work with, and start with that. I've gone ahead and taken a high-quality MPEG-4 video and dropped it into my Storyline project here. And what I'm going to do is publish this out, and to show you the difference and show you that it is working, I'm going to take the video quality down to its lowest level, so we're going to really compress this. I'm going to publish this out, and we're going to view the project, and you will see that, sure enough, it's not the greatest quality video here. It's really compressed down. It's fairly blocky and pixelated. Now, here's where the trick comes in. What you are going to do post-publish, so you publish this out just like that, you've started with your MPEG-4 video. You're going to open up the source folder, go to story content, and in the story content you will see the video here. Now, if you have multiple videos in your project and you're not sure which is which, you can simply double-click and play them and identify them. Okay, they're MPEG-4 video files, they'll open up in your local video player and you can identify them that way. You'll notice it has a rather unique name here. So here's where the trick comes in. My high quality MPEG-4 video file, I am going to go and grab that video file and I'm going to drop it into this very same folder. And I'm going to do this. I'm going to copy the name that Storyline has given this video. And now I can delete that video here. And I'm going to rename my source file to that output video name and now when we go back and we preview this you will see that it is going to play my high quality MPEG-4 video. That is why we want to start with an MPEG-4 source because Storyline is going to output to MPEG-4 this way we can simply switch them out rename them and now the quality goes from not so great to the original source quality. So that's the trick but once again please keep in mind the end user experience on DVD, this is probably fine, but if you're going to be sending out huge video files to folks on DSL or oh, GASP, dial up! They're still out there, believe me. Not something that you're going to want to do. Let Storyline work its magic on the video itself. So, if you have any questions about this or anything else Storyline related, please join us at elearningheroes.com, and we will do our best to help you out. Take care.